Hi, welcome to a buzzing walkabout here on Buzzing Patea and to part one of our soy bacow walkabout. Um, now, we're in the midst of COVID lockdown yet again, uh, the second lockdown that we've experienced here. And uh, I, was, I was moaned at the other day, saying I'm not being positive. So here's my positive aspect. Bart buses right now are not so crowded, so you won't have to worry about getting a seat. You know, I don't mean to be stupid or be a, be a dick, but it's very hard very very hard to remain positive in a city that you can see is absolutely devastating and I want to just go through a few things about why I am the way I am because if you know anything about Thailand you will know that 95% of the Thai people that work in this industry in this environment do not save money Okay, they earn their money and they send it back to grandma, to granddad, to mum, dad, to take care of their kids, etc, etc. And because of that, they live pretty much day to day. Now, most Europeans, myself included, I'm sure you guys are saying, alright, we might be feeling the pinch right now, it might not be very good, but nevertheless, we do have a small nest egg or something to fall back on, or you get support from your government. Whereas here, there is no support. So when you look at the devastation that this has caused, it's very difficult to be positive, purely and only because, how can you be when you've got friends that are in this country that are living hand to mouth, uh, everyone's heading back home because they've got no money, they've got no income, they can't afford their rent. You know, it's very, very difficult, it really is. So. I apologise if you think that these blogs at the moment are very negative and trust me I can't wait for the time when everything's open and it's busy and I can go into all the bars and clubs and show you all that's going on and give you some real positive feedback. I really can't wait but for now it has to be the way it is and I'm sorry for that but it really has to be the way it is here and it is very much doom and gloom as you're seeing. So in this walkabout, I want to take you from the Padia, uh, Padia Dai in of Soy Bacow, where the big market is. And I want to take you through up to where Golden Time is. Now Golden Time, if you're not sure, you'll see at the end of this video, was a very, very popular uh, bar stroke, uh, gentleman's club stroke, a go-go, really, really popular. As was this place, the Black Snake Club. Uh, that was a very popular place. And a friend of mine, Mike, he goes to Mama Kitchen all the time and just constantly says how good it is. And I trust his judgment. So these places, the restaurants currently are able to stay open as long as they do home delivery and they're not allowed to sell alcohol, alcohol sorry, at this given moment in time. Action Street, you know, as you can see, <laughs> it's just dead. But the thing with Action Street is I don't think it was ever really taking off, if I'm being honest. It always seemed to struggle, and uh, it was never somewhere that was on the tip of everybody's tongue. Yeah, let's go to Action Street. Did you go to Action Street when it was busy and when we were open, etc.? Did you go to Action Street? If you did, please drop a comment below. Let us know what was Action Street like. Because to be honest with you, the couple of times that I went, it wasn't all that, if I'm being true, but it was, yeah, it was okay, but nothing special. Certainly nothing to say, I must go back there and have another night out. So if you did go to Action Street, uh, please share with us what was it like, because uh, right now, as you're seeing, I may as well have just put a black screen up. Uh, it really is that, that bad. Um, now, across the road from Action Street is a very popular place. You're seeing it now, uh, Nikki's Bar, have a very, very good reputation for their food and uh, you're going to see a bit more about that in a second because they've got some new special offers coming up uh, which I want to show you. And again, remember that they can uh, serve food and deliver it to you. This uh, exchange booth is for sale. And again, this is just another example because I'm guessing, and I don't know how these work, so please educate me. If I'm being a, an idiot here, please tell me. But I would hazard a guess that they make their money based on the exchange rate that they buy in and the exchange rate that they offer out. And that's where they make their money. So clearly, with nobody coming here, no one's going to exchange money. So therefore, these guys are pretty much redundant, uh, unless I've got that wrong. But that's how it appears to me. So, you know, again, these guys are struggling as well as the bars, etc. And ironically, 
a property company has seen some that I know of to be doing quite well. There's a lot of people with money that want to buy up what are you know bargains right now. Uh, they want to get in there in the investment world and uh, and they're taking these properties, you know. And when you look at the value, you know, this 15 million, what's that, 370 odd thousand pounds English? You know, look at that. For that kind of money, if you can buy that, and I'm sure right now they would accept less because they are, they are needing to sell. So this is, if nothing else, a positive aspect in terms of those of you with money in your pocket and are prepared to invest in this country and sit it out for a good couple of years, you know, chances are you will make your money back plus, plus, plus. Um, just my thoughts. If you disagree, please, you know, comment below. This is what I love about the channel. This is what keeps me going is that the comments that we get are fantastic. You know, you guys are the ones that make this channel special because without your interaction, uh, this channel will be rubbish and it's not something I want. But uh, anyway, so this is Nikki's bar and you can see here, you know, 99 bar specials and there's some great deals on here. You know, chili con carne with chips and rice, 99 bar. I mean, that's less than three quid. Uh, it really is just fantastic value. And also very good quality food. Uh, I've been in there myself good quality food and you're not going to get any uh, any rubbish for that kind of money you will get exactly what they're offering you and a good quality of food uh, sweethearts bar i remember going in there years ago uh, i was involved in football when i first came out here at planet football and we used to go in there and meet quite often uh, sadly i haven't been there for a few years and uh, i think it's changed hands i'm not 100 percent sure if you if you know please help me out because i'm not 100 percent sure but uh, back in the day a few good few years back that was the place to be and when you talk about exchange rates you know maybe the thai government could help us to encourage you guys to come over because the exchange rate is really tough right now and it's not fun you know when you're looking at these prices here you know an english pound 40.27 you know what was the highest rate you ever had i know when i came over here once it was like 68 but 40.27 just knocks the fun out of it. And it really isn't an incentive for you to get back on an airplane when you can and come out here. So the Thai government have got to start making some initiatives. They've got to start making some deals and say to themselves, right, let's get people over here. Let's devalue the bar and encourage people to come across because right now there is little, if anything, to shout about to come here. And when you look at these bars, it's a bit of a chicken and egg situation in many respects because you won't come here if all the bars are closed because it's obvious, you know, there's nothing to come for. But the bars can't open until people come here. So how would you do that? What would you do? You know, if you've got a bar, would you open it on the hope and pray that tourists will come? And as a tourist, would you come here knowing that at least 80% of the places are shut? So it's a really quite a difficult scenario and I'm not sure what the actual outcome will be in terms of who gives first. You know, do these bars just say, right, to hell with it, let's open up? Or do they stay shut and do the tourists say, well, let's just go over there, you know, there must be somewhere to go, I don't know, we'll find it, and, and come over. It really is a chicken and egg situation and I would love to know your thoughts on that because truthfully, it is a bit of a mess and I don't know which way it will go. Now, I mentioned earlier, Golden Time, uh, Julian, the owner, lovely guy. They also own Babylon on Soy Bonkot, and Golden Time is a spin-off from Babylon. And it's a in the day, it's a really busy place, as you're seeing, and it was a very, very uh, much a go-to place. And on the back of Babylon's success, this soy now has quite a lot of gentlemen clubs, uh, afternoon establishments where you can go, and, and it's a closed-door scenario. Uh, a bit like how Soy 6 used to be before it was all open bars and, and uh, webcams, etc. Et but this is, in the day, when it's back on, on form, I think this will be the go-to place. All right, so that's it for this part. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon if you'd like to be notified when we bring out a new video. Don't forget to join our Telegram group. And if you would like to help sponsor the channel and help me with the costs, etc., for the staff, etc., etc., there is a link below. And I will genuinely say thank you from my heart for those that do sponsor the channel because it is very much appreciated. And if I'm being truthful, very much needed because we get zero ourselves.
All right, that's it for me. Thanks very much for watching. Please, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.